There has been an article in The Guardian saying that five experts in art were cheated by artificial intelligence when they had to decide if a painting was made by an artist, a human artist, or an artificial intelligence. Here, I'm going to show how you can cheat artificial intelligence. Please watch this video until the end and you will know the secret. Welcome to the tower. Today we are going to discuss about a very interesting article published in the British journal, British newspaper, The Guardian, uh, saying it, it was called uh, something like, uh, is it a Rothko? Is it by Rothko or by a robot? You, you have the link here below in the video. And uh, the article shows uh, how uh, 11, uh, 12, art, uh, 12 experts in art were uh, asked uh, about assessing if a uh, painting was made. Uh, they, they were shown uh, two paintings, one by, by a human, one by an artificial intelligence. They didn't know which one was made by whom, and then they had to decide and justify why one was made by uh, the AI and one and the other was made by an artist. They different paintings for different experts, and five out of 12 failed. So they were cheated by AI. Why is that? Well, you can know which one is made by an artificial intelligence, an AI, if you know how AI works. AI works within a framework. So you feed the AI engine, the AI platform, with a lot of information. So this information, this, 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 and this, and the AI system can build something that is a mix in between all this space, okay? So the AI will never go beyond these limits. It will never invent out of the scope. AI is incapable of thinking out of the box, okay? And this is the way to know if a, a, if a, painting, a painting is made by an AI or not. So if it's like this, but not like this, is more as a bit of combination, then it's 99% uh, made by AI. If it's something that is crazy, it's out of everything, you don't understand why it's a crazy idea, it's probably 99% made by a human, okay? And this is very interesting for you to know what this article says is very interesting to know what will happen to you in the next months, years in your life. Because the AI will become larger and larger and be more present in our lives. Um, if you want to fight AI, you need to know how it works and how to fight it. The question is, do you need to fight AI? My idea is that you don't need to fight AI. You need to realize what AI is. And AI is a large entity, global entity, but scarce entity. So it's AI, you know, is very scarce. Uh, Google has an AI engine, then Microsoft has an AI engine, then Apple has an AI engine, then you have global GPT, uh, uh, chat, uh, chat GPT engine, and very few more. So, and, and it's like, uh, the Highlanders, there can be only one. So in probably five years, there will be one, two, three maximum AI global systems in the world. What does this mean? This means that uh, you will have a global entity saying to you, like an oracle, what is the truth? What is something? You, you ask a question, you say, oh, tell me this. And the same answer for all human beings on Earth, because there is a single entity, the AI is scarce. scarf. This this is very important to understand because if you do the same to a human group, if you ask a question to a group of 15 people, you will get 15 answers, 15 different answers, probably. And this is what humans are. We have one intelligence per individual and we cannot fight in terms of the power of that intelligence with a, a large giant entity. For example, Tesla, Tesla cars. Tesla cars are 
uploading all the driving experience of all Tesla drivers around the world every minute to a single AI engine. So this single AI has millions of hours of driving experience. You will never be able to fight to compare with that uh, Tesla intelligence in driving a car. This intelligence will be far, 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 far better than you driving, even if you don't believe that. And the same for everything on, in, in our lives. But what this AI can't do is think out of the box, have crazy ideas, be, have imagination, be creative, be crazy, be out of the box and think uh, about uh, ideas that don't make sense. This is only our human territory by now. And it will be for longer, I believe, because nobody, you know, human, uh, you know, AI systems are software. And I don't think any human on Earth will be so crazy to uh, program to code uh, AI to have crazy ideas out of control, etc., etc. So it's, uh, you know, the, the, the AI systems are used to business processes, to run the banks, accounts, uh, uh, electricity, the grid, etc., etc. So nobody wants uh, crazy ideas uh, out of control. And this is our territory. So this is the way we will be able to fight AI. If you are unique, if you think creatively, if you have crazy ideas, if you, you do things differently, then you have a chance. If you are gray matter, if you are uh, part of the crowd, if you are always watching your social media to say the same than others and you don't want to be different and you don't want to be criticized by others because you say things different, then you will be surpassed by AI and you will become uh, something that is uh, useless because uh, nobody will pay you when AI can provide it nearly for free. So think about that, think about this new age uh, where humans have the power of being unique, have the power to think critically and think differently and promote and have uh, crazy ideas and um, imagination. This is the era of imagination. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, press on the like button, subscribe if you like to be uh, to watch my next videos. And thank you very much. Welcome to the tower.